Hello everybody, welcome back to round five of the 41st Chess Olympiad. I'm Lawrence Trent and this is Jan Gustafsson. A lot of the big games still in play today, but for the moment, Jan, I believe we have another very special guest who is joining us. Yeah, we have one of the strongest, not players, even though he's a strong grandmaster, but trainers in the world. A guy who's worked with many of today's leading grandmasters, Fabiano Caruana, Anish Giri, Timur Rajabov, also used to be a long-time trainer of the Dutch national team, so we'll certainly check in with the Dutch with him. Mm. Welcome, Vladimir Chuchilov. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Vladimir. How are you? Yeah, fine, fine. All is uh, going its way, yeah. Okay. And uh, you're here with not uh, Fabiano Caruana, who I suppose most people know you are w have worked with. Who are you here with here? Uh, yeah, for this tournament, uh, uh, I had a break, uh, I had a permission uh, to, uh, to go with uh, Tamar Rajabov. Uh, so we started working like uh, half a year ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, that was kind of interesting opportunity to go to see how it's going in the tournaments. Uh, so here we are. And Doing pretty well so far. The Azeri yeah. on the top board, Mamad Yarov already won his match. So let's briefly check in with your latest student. Timur Rajabov. Yeah, hopefully. Though today it's uh, not a uh, game is not going so easy, but uh, okay. So the idea was, uh, of course, uh, to get some uh, some fight, uh, because after winning uh, first round, uh, he had some kind of uh, relatively quiet uh, period, um, missed a couple of chances, made a couple of draws. So today wanted uh, to uh, to get some um, uh, some fight, but uh, position got uh, slightly worse actually. Yeah, we see it by so struggling a little bit. And this is his position at the moment with Black against Milos Perunovic, very solid grandmaster from Serbia. Looks like he's, like he's having some holes on the king side. Somehow. Yeah, yeah, his position uh, doesn't look so easy. Yeah, but uh, okay, so this is a kind of uh, working situation. So if you want uh, to play for a win with Black out days, uh, it's yeah. clear that you have to. Uh, to take some risks. Yeah. <laughs> How is it for you as a coach? Are you suffering during the games when your students are playing rooting for them? or? Uh, well, it's like uh, before the games, uh, during the games and after the games. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> suffering all day long. <laughs> and uh, what is, what is you, you must be the most in-demand coach, trainer in the world. What, what would you say is, you know, allowed you to, to achieve such a status. Uh, what, what do you do? Do you have, I mean, without revealing your secrets, of course, we, you well, won't do that. I was trying to ask, do you accept new students? <laughs> you <consider>? <laughs> Jan <laughs> Gustafsson, <laughs> yeah. he would love to. Yes, I, I heard, yeah. yes. Uh, but then we will have a few uh, wonderful commentators left, yes? Yeah, so. <laughs> well, thank you. That's very right. right. The chess commentary level uh, yeah. will step up a bit, though. Yeah. But because you work on, on your own, you're not part of some school or, or something like this? Uh, no, 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 no. It's like, uh, well, I was also lucky with my students, of course. This is uh, how it uh, goes, yeah, that uh, you, uh, uh, you get to know some uh, new talented players and uh, you're working with them, then they're developing and, well, this is uh, kind of becomes uh, the result of your work, which is uh, definitely remarked by other people and, well, this is how it's uh, going for the, for the trainer. So it's not like uh, uh, you decide to be a trainer and immediately you have uh, lots of students and uh, um, many people even don't know that you're working uh, as a trainer. But, well, I was lucky. <laughs> One guy you worked with a lot, I don't think he deserves a lot of credit for making you a famous trainer, but <laughs> is the Dutch player Luke van Veli. I don't know, he has also uh, his contribution, because uh, actually from uh, working with him, this is uh, where the, um, after our first walk we did, it was uh, back to 2003, when he was uh, playing in uh, Vacanze, it's a, a traditional Dutch tournament. And before this, uh, he was not, uh, let's say, uh, uh, doing uh, his best in this tournament, particularly right. having really quite a big minus score. So that was my first kind of uh, uh, big experience where we had a really uh, very long preparation before the tournament. It was like uh, five weeks or, some, uh, or something. And we were really uh, working very intensively. And he played really very, very good in this tournament. So that was, let's say, the starting point where I had an idea that, well, somehow I'm 
uh, much better when I'm uh, as a second when I'm uh, let's say playing myself. So I, I, I like the whole idea how it goes that uh, all this preparation and everything. Uh, but of course, it was still pretty far from the idea uh, to become a professional trainer. Mm. This uh, came later, it came like year 2005, 2006, when I started to um, have some demands from Dutch Federation uh, to train some youth players. And then there were years from, let's say, 2006 till 2010, where I had to work very hard on my concept of, uh, which is later known like strategic balance, so my student known. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it's a long way. So let's say, yeah. It takes some time. So are you busy every day of the year or do you have some time to play yourself, take some holidays? Um, no, usually my holidays, if you can call it holidays, they're kind of combined with, uh, with, a chess tournament. with some chess tournament or with some student or uh, yes, yeah, so it's mostly working all the year. Let's take a brief look at Van Veli's game because it's a crazy position he has on the board against Yu Yang Yi from China. There we got the current standings. It's 1-1 one, one in the match, China-Netherlands. Oh, actually, it became, uh, it became kind of less clear suddenly, because before it looked uh, to be quite bad for Luke. Uh, yeah. Uh, now it's... Uh, oh, yeah. For Luke. yeah, let's mm. have a look. At, At least it uh, looks very sharp. But of course, uh, how, how is the time? Uh, we don't see we here clearly. We can check one second. I'll go find that out. A very unbalanced white has rook, bishop and knight against the black queen. Usually it's of course uh, quite dangerous, yeah, because uh, two pieces and the rook, uh, we all know that it's a uh, huge uh, uh, force, but here white's king is a little bit open up and okay, uh, for the moment it looks like uh, white has uh, to retreat with the, uh, with the knight or the rook h1, maybe I see some kind of move, I don't know. Very tricky, the time situation, white has 11 and a half minutes, black has 20 minutes, so no crazy time trouble yet. Oh, this is, uh, this, uh, this is quite an achievement, because uh, recently I think uh, Luke was going quite to some time trouble, mm -hmm. so this time, uh, yeah. I think it was in preparation for quite a long time, but then it went slightly wrong. Let's try a move, like rook h1. Yeah, rook h1 looks, looks uh, like a very critical move, and probably you have to remove your queen, you're playing check. check. Yeah. King B1, B1 probably. And um, I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know if you can... Um, yeah, probably uh, you have to play H5 because uh, other moves they look... I don't know, maybe... Uh, uh, okay, taking on G2 is very dangerous, of course. It's, Let's uh, see if White can mate there. Or not yeah, sure. looks okay. like checkmate, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like checkmate, yes. Not quite, no, though. Not no. yet, not yet, but very close. <laughs> looks dangerous, yeah. Yeah, no, this is, of course, he's not going to do. So most probably he's going to play h5, so probably knight f6, attacking the pawn again. King g7, let's say. No, at least the king has a little more mm. breathing space on g6. Yeah, because the point is if the rook leaves uh, from the first rank, there is uh, uh, okay. some checks immediately yeah. are coming. Yeah. yeah. You could go queen f1 check. Queen f1, Even it looks mm. like, yeah. yeah. Even this move, I'm not ah, sure. Rook h6, yeah. you can yeah. take on g5 and the... If black doesn't get checkmate, I think he has enough counterplay with f4, queen takes g2. Yeah. Could go either way, really. Yeah, and especially, okay, it looks like uh, the time uh, is already uh, coming close uh, so to time trouble, so white. So it's, uh, yeah. Then anyway, position uh, remains very sharp, it's uh, obvious. More good news for the Dutch, I believe, is that Robin van Kampen, if I'm not mistaken, also a former student of yours. Uh, still, uh, still working. Oh, still? With, uh, still, still, oh, okay. yeah, time to time. Although uh, less, obviously, because much less time recently, but still. Well, <laughs> well the good he news, drew. I think, is he drew his game. We thought, following, of course, the computer's opinion that he was in some trouble here, mm -hmm. but it looked like they did agree to a draw in this position after knight d3, which uh -huh. leaves, once again, a former student of yours, Anish Giri, world-class player in his own right. Right, yes and Luke van Veli, the match is in their hands. Mm -hmm. So what's the position of Anish? Looks no. more or less balanced, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it looks it? like balanced, yes. Equal pawns, And equal okay, pieces. knowing that Manu is a very solid player and uh, I guess it's going to be balanced still for a while, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. We can expect a draw here and then this crazy position between yeah. Yu Yang Yi and van Veli. Yeah, probably this game will decide a lot, yes. Absolutely. So Knight yeah, so d6 is we played, yeah. maybe better move than rook h1. Yeah, I would say that uh, still, still black's position is pretty dangerous. Yes. 
because okay, two pieces and uh, they seem to coordinate well. So eventually B4 is coming and... Uh, B4, yeah, B5 is coming in some yeah. positions, yeah. This is uh, still quite dangerous. Also, you know, some even attacking chess yeah. chances. Yeah, yeah, on a 5 I, uh, somewhere maybe I can take, so it's uh, still... No, I agree. And yeah, if I really were to lose this, the Dutch would most probably lose the match as well. So a lot riding on that. You used to be the coach of the Dutch team as well, right? You in you don't have time uh, uh, you, uh, you mean Luke? No, I mean the whole ah, yeah, Dutch I mean team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, so it's actually uh, more or less this. Uh, this is the first year that uh, okay, my uh, contract with Dutch Federation terminated, so we didn't renew it. So. Oh, okay. So, so I, went, I, I went to, to private sector. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. More more lucrative the private sector. Tell we, me about it. That's why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why you know. Yeah. He's not we're playing for Germany, awkward. and I'm not playing for England for those yeah. exact reasons. That is the uh, only reason the only you're not reason. playing for England. Right, Let's that is the <laughs> point that out. Um, Another former student of yours, or no, still a student, Fabiano Carana, mm, is the number sense, two yeah. in the live ranking list today. Yeah. He has, however, the problem if Levon Aronian draws or wins his game, he's out of the number two spot, back to number three. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's what's going to happen. It's <laughs> very unlikely Aronian is going to lose his position here. Uh, we yes, see it's him. really very unlikely, yeah. So. In deep thought. But do you think White has any winning chances here? Mm, well, objectively speaking, it's very close to draw. Right. Mostly it is a draw. But okay, of course, you are uh, actually uh, computer estimation is uh, rather optimistic. <laughs> yeah, probably too optimistic. Yeah, computer he likes pawns still. Yeah, although he likes to uh, sacrifice it too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's uh, very close to draw. Of course, there is some kind of small grip on uh, on the king side as well, but still, very little chance. Mm -hmm. right. Movsisi and Hammer was a draw, and as was Johannes and Akopian. So actually. Not a very two exciting game. Well, two pretty big results there. I mean, Johannesson rated 120 points less than Akopian. Absolutely. And that means that the remaining games, Agdestein, Sargissian, well, that one looks ve that one looks like it's going to be the decider to me. Let's. We can assume a draw is very likely, and Aronian against Carlson. So probably this is the decisive game of the match. And Gabriel Sargisian trying to put pressure with Black looks like he's got a little something. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, got a little something. This is for sure. Also, uh, uh, you have to, uh, when you look in uh, games of uh, Simon, you have to look uh, the time because he likes time trouble. Situation. So you have to see what's. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's an important factor too. Oh, and this is this is very important. This could mean a very, you know, Sargisian with Black. Actually, uh, White's position is pretty unpleasant. If it's you very unpleasant. You can't move the yeah. knight. Yeah. And if rook fc1, you lose a pawn. You want right? to go rook c1, but black will take it. Do you lose and if you take uh, with the rook, b4 is hanging. So you probably take bishop, bishop takes. It looks a little uncoordinated. A, b, a, b. And knight a4, maybe. Well, no immediate problems yet, it seems. Yeah, maybe knight a4. Knight a4 it's just, uh, it looks like somewhere wind, well, that wins a pawn. is going to win a oh, pawn. Right. Knight takes and rook yeah. takes. Oops, sorry. And a pawn is a pawn, right? You can right. work you, uh, a bit like the... Uh, and still, once again, you have to watch uh, the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's find out. Simon Aktestein has seven and a half minutes left. Gabriel yeah. Sargisian still yeah, 17 see, yeah. minutes. No, because I just uh, could watch him in action in Stavanger, and uh, he played actually very reasonable, but always in time trouble. <laughs> yeah, he played great in Stavanger. Yeah, it, uh, it is actually the, uh, the point that uh, uh, it's not easy to play top players, so it takes a little bit more time maybe. <laughs> we had uh, the result, Gusinov said like was a draw, mm -hmm. and with Mamajarov winning, Rajabov in some difficulties, yeah. Mamadov looks okay, well that one is still undecided. Yeah. And uh, the other big matches... Yeah, Mamedov was pressing quite uh, seriously. But I think he had, a, he, a had a, he had a pawn up, but uh, I don't know... What Why don't we actually go to Kramnik Topalov? Oh, that's yeah, that's a very yeah, exciting that's, that's, game. That's, that's uh, actually yeah. been heating up. Yeah, we gotta go there. And here we are, that we oh see Topalov goodness. thinking. Oh, this is really... Uh, things are really interesting. We last left it off around here after Kramnik sacrificed an exchange, a rook for a bishop, ED. Queen f6 was played by Topalov. Kramnik went d6. Queen c3, queen d1. 
What do you think, Vladimir? This pawn on d6 must be worth at least an exchange, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah. It's uh, obvious that uh, white has very good compensation here. The question is, of course, uh, that you still have to play precise. Yeah, and, and Topalov uh, is trying to create some counterplay. But the game went, uh, it, it went already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? bishop c6. Ah, bishop takes c6. Yeah, d8, uh -huh. knight b1. Ah, he, he did, he did. Uh, yeah, this is all kind of... Um, rook, rook d8 he played. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Let's go to the position they have on the board currently. Queen f6, queen d2, rook b8, bishop e4. Uh -huh. Just threatening to run wow. these pawns off the board. e5, yeah, knight c3. Yeah, this it is seems to be a really very cri critical for black. Because what to do? So you would like, of course, to take on f4. Mm. But then knight d5 is coming. Oof. Could just be lost for black, doesn't it? And queen g5, even the endings, queen takes yeah, the f4. Ending, this is, uh, the, uh, this is what white wants, yeah, because uh, the two pawns, then it's unstoppable, just yeah. Unstoppable. Maybe you have to retreat to d8, or uh, maybe not, uh, yeah, to try and. Un yeah, this is. But it also runs into all kinds of trouble. 97, 97 96. 96, yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, this is uh, good, uh, good chances for white, obviously, yes. Although, uh, ah, and the time, it's already. Uh, not really of a great importance. They have moved 39, right? They have two moves to go, so I don't think time travel is an issue. Topalov seems like he has plenty of time, but he could just be lost. Another move that I was thinking about was taking here, but this is the same story. This ending also yeah, the looks ending, terrible. Yeah, this uh, this ending is a dream for why, isn't it? Right, yeah, the two pawns are really, uh, really <laughs> very strong. Yeah. Yes. No, I think Vlad's got a great chance. I think he's got a... Mm. And yeah, they, they always, they recently, if you look their games, uh, they always exchange with big blows to each other. It's true. <laughs> yeah. it's white, true. White has been having the upper draw hand. Is not, a draw is not an option anymore. Right. <laughs> Whoever was White has been crushing the other recently. Yes. Have you worked with Kramnik in the old days? Uh, no, 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 I didn't have this chance. It would be interesting, but um, didn't have a chance. Let's, can we just check out the other games in this? Because I'm looking, let, let's just go to Jan and Pomniachi playing black against Rusev. Is this ending there? winning or what's going on? Yeah, there was a, also, re oh, this is a lot changed wow. since last time I've seen it. Oh, now black is, of course, very good. Because at some moment it was a critical position, yeah? Mm. Because white uh, had some ideas to make a blockade on, uh, on D3 with the knight and, well... Now it Why is this so bad, so bad for white? King F3, put my knight on D3. No, this is What's very concrete, very yeah. concrete. So, uh, probably, uh, uh, so how it goes. Actually, ah, no, this is very concrete. Because he goes H2, go King G2, Bishop H4, Knight D3, and Bishop G3, probably. Mm. So oh, that's the point. Yeah, you that's hold the point. on to the pawn. And then? But still, and how can then black we ever know. be Maybe better? Maybe it's not that bad, actually. Maybe it's not that bad. It's probably fine, actually. How like do you, uh, I, I, can I, I don't know how I can make a progress. Maybe there's some kind of idea to get uh, the king somewhere on g6 and sacrifice on f4, knight f4, king g5. But I'm not in time, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, this is not, this is not a real idea. <laughs> no, probably it's just equal, right? I don't yeah, see a is, single it idea. Is equal, yeah, it, it seems to be equal. So yeah. And look who we got in the picture there, ladies and gentlemen. None other than Gary Kasparov watching the games. Looking at this ending, ooh, he's got his yeah. very expressive face. <laughs> no, he hasn't shaking lost that. Shaking his head. I'm not sure why he's shaking his head. Yes, uh, confusing uh, <laughs> all it's the players. Mixed signals. <laughs> <laughs> confusing all the players. Oh, <laughs> and there he is looking at the kayaking game. Let's follow oh, Kasparov around. Don't yeah. know if he's happy there. Maybe he's not so. Oh, well, it looks as though kayaking. Kayaking is in trouble, it looks like. Is in a bit of trouble here. What happened here? Oh, what did kayaking do? That is really strange. He wants to take. It looked like he had a really. Uh, it looked like uh, like he had a uh, really big advantage. Yeah, we've discussed this no, earlier. Uh, we uh, thought yeah, here yeah. C5, C5 and looked very white very, very natural. Better. Yeah, yes. that's what I was also thinking. Uh, but of course, y it's a concrete position, so you have to see if you cannot uh, make pressure on d4. But it seems like queen yeah, c4. Queen now. c4. Whenever there's e5, there's d5. Yeah. And, and then you go simply a4, b5, and uh, yeah, looks Look very nice. But he went for. B5, and ever since it's been a bit more unclear. C5, 
d5, bishop e5. Let's quickly go to the current position because it looked like he ran into some serious trouble all of a sudden. Yeah, this is really uh, amazing how it happened. This is what they got. And White's problem is, I believe, he can't take on d5 because if rook oh, takes d5. Oh, that's amazing. And if rook takes d5. Rook takes d5 and queen f4 is winning. Rook takes c wow. takes d. Wow. And f4. And remember, I told you four hours ago, if black ever manages to switch yeah. his queen and bishop around, we white right. will be in real trouble. Ah, and this now is an he impressive combination. This, wow. is a, this, a, this is how it goes, yeah. And this Unbelievable. just looks winning. Did, did you see, by the way, that correcting, he missed the chance uh, very early in the morning, or uh, 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 just uh, on move, I think, 13 or something. He had a very nice tactical idea. Oh, let's go there. So just at this moment, just one move before, uh, here, black played check, yes, check, right. king h1, bishop right. f4, right. and suddenly queen a3 could oh, put uh, black in a cute. serious trouble. Wow. That's <laughs> very nice. That's <laughs> a very difficult game. It, 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 it could be a very short game, actually. Wow. Because now it seems like c5 is the only move. Some very pretty geometry. Let's just briefly show it. Knight takes e4, oh, yes, runs into very queen nice, e7, mate. checkmate, and bishop g5 runs into knight d6, check. Right. And king d8, knight f7, picking up this bishop with a winning position. So queen a3, c5, but this looks scary, scary, scary. Yeah, so now, well, you could simply bishop take on f6. f6 and more or less white is winning a pawn without big compensation, yeah? Wow. It's a hard move to spot though, if you very don't see yeah, the idea. That was very important moves, and maybe now this is kind of the payback, yeah? Right. <laughs> Once you missed opportunity, then, well. There you go. No, the yeah, it's the position that's currently on the board, just to wrap this up, is the one after rook d8. And it doesn't look like Kayakin can recapture, so he is probably lost. Probably losing. Unbelievable. What a result that because would be. Because c takes d is the same problem. Queen f4, Queen f4 just crushing. Immediately, yeah. And rook takes d5, I believe, once again, the same, same idea. Rook the same takes thing. d5, you can't c, take d, on d5. queen, f4, and bishop And I have d5. to say, it's not such a difficult it's not a, no, no, of course it's not. Easy it's, to really, uh, uh, it's definitely what he missed. Of course. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, look, Vladimir, thank you very much for joining yeah. us. We yeah. really thank appreciate well. it. Thank you. Thank and you very uh, much. good yeah, luck bye with bye. your <laughs> training, and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank bye you, bye. Vladimir Chuchilov.